Welcome. Kit, again, 30 minutes. So today we've got three rounds. I'm going to break up a little bit differently, but the first round is going to be all legs. So main focus is on the lower half of the body. The second half is all about our core. So this whole midsection through here, that's going to be our main focus. And for the last nine minutes, it's going to be all about the upper body. Now, by all means, in each round, you obviously use other muscles, but our focus will be legs, core, and arms. So today, if you've got a set of weights, brilliant, use them. If not, if you can grab a drink bottle or something, that would be fantastic, two drink bottles, or two soup cans, whatever you may have that weigh the same. Um, you will sort of need weights today, but we can work around it if you don't, so do not stress. First things first, we're going to sit down and we're going to go into a squat pulse. So it simply looks like this. So we're staying down low into the pulse. We're pulling our hips back and down. That's it. Now we're not going to start just yet. Sorry, false alarm team. I'm going to have a 10 seconds time just so my clock's in the right spot. Otherwise, I have to do a lot of thinking and let's face it. It's late in the afternoon for me here. All right, let's get down low. So each exercise, we're started now, so you've got to follow me. Each exercise only lasts 30 seconds, that's not very long. Get down nice and low, weight through the heels, pulling those hips back and behind. That's it. Now, a bit of housekeeping while we're just chilling out, doing nothing. Make sure you've got a drink bottle, make sure the space around you is also nice and clean. You might be outside actually, because it's beautiful weather this week. Keep pulsing nice and low. Five, four, three, two. Now I'm going to stand side on so this exercise makes sense. From here, you're going to lift up as high as you can and you're going to keep lifting with that same leg. So what we've got is our stabilizer leg is in the start of a single leg squat and we're going to activate through our lifting leg, through our glute. I'm going to keep this going 30 seconds. That's it. So the higher you can reach, the better. We're lifting from our glute through to our heel. You've got a little bit of a burn in your leading leg or your stationary leg. Keep going, you've room for two more. And we're stopping sides, other side. So load up your other leg now. Now you might find one side lifts really high, the other side doesn't lift as high. It's okay. We're not perfect. That's it. Now if you want a bit more intensity, get down lower on your leg that's stationary. That's the way. Get that mind to muscle connection of what's going on back here. Keep that going. Room for one more. Alrighty, we're gonna jump forward, shimmy back. So it looks like this. Jump forward, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Jump, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. That's the way. Jump forward, shimmy back. I'll do it side on, just in case you can't see my feet. Jump forward, stay low. Jump, stay low. That's it, team. Jump forward, shimmy. Beautiful. One more. There we go. All right, we're going to go into skaters. So start by stepping, and then if you, as you get comfortable, add the jump and come across. Beautiful. If you don't trust your knees or your ankles, then you stay with just the step. Everyone else, power up. That's the way. Three. Two, we're going to come down to the ground. We're going to go into what we call a frog glute bridge. So your legs are going to be feet together, knees wide, lifting up. That's it. So it should be quite intense. We're isolating through the glute. That's the way. I'll turn semi side on, but not fully side on. So feet are together, knees are wide, lifting up. Two more. Beautiful. First round done. Two more to go for this first nine minutes. Let's stay down low. Pulses. There we go. If you want at this stage, you can add a little jump. Still keep the body nice and low. Excellent. I think I'm regretting my choice of a long sleeve top like I did last week. Sometimes I'll just never learn, will I? Three, two, one. Coming into that side. So loading up one leg, lifting up. You want to brace through your core, looking forward. That's it. So they're not overly hard exercises today, mainly because we're focusing on one muscle group for nine minutes. 
Beautiful. Two more. Excellent. Swap it over. Other side. Coming up. This is my weaker side. You might be able to tell. You have the eagle eye people out there. That's it. Oh. How nice is the weather this week? What are we, 12 days away from opening? Something like that. So exciting. Ooh. Need to concentrate on this leg. Two more. Alrighty, we're jumping forward and we're shimmying back. So jump, keep low, that's the way. Jump, stay low. Now, if you want to take out the jump, you simply step forward, squat, shimmy, shimmy. Step forward, squat, shimmy the feet back. That's the way. Beautiful. I'm eating my hair today. I have had lunch, I'm not super hungry. One more. Alrighty, we're going into those skaters. So start with a step. As you get confident, start to speed it up. Make sure you're aware of your surrounds in this one. You're not gonna trip up with what's behind and off to the side. Keep it going, 10 seconds. Beautiful. Two more. We're going down to the ground. Come with me. So remember, feet together, knees wide, laying down, lifting hips up and down. So we're squeezing through the glutes. That's it. Isolating the glute muscles, power up, slowly down. Two more. Last one. Alrighty. Three minutes left, about nine minutes. So we're going back into those squat pulses. Stay down low, low pulses, or add that little pulse jump. It's your workout, it's your way. Keep in mind, 10 seconds left here, so we're not here for long. We can go a little crazy. This way. Three, two, one, loading up one leg, powering up the other. How low are you going to get? And you want to brace through your core. You don't want to end up with pain through your lower back. So draw up, draw up through that lower abdominal muscle or abdominal muscles. We've got lots in there. Two more. One more. Swing around, other side, load up. I have to concentrate on this side. You might find one glute cramps really quickly. The other one might be in Hawaii somewhere. It's missing in action. That's my left for me. It's missing in action. 10 seconds. You've got this. I think I'm telling myself that. Find your balance, Charles. Two more. One. Whew. That side just doesn't want to work. It's on holidays. I don't blame it. Jumping forward, shimmy back. Woo! That's the way. Fast feet. Light jump forward. Fast feet. Light jump forward. Step it out if you have to. Make sure when we're shimmying, we're staying low. Keep going. Two more. Last one. That's the way. All right, we're going to those skaters. So start with a step. Get comfortable. All right, speed it up. My legs don't want to. There we go. They're like, I don't want to do this. I'm happy with just a step across. Beautiful. Ten seconds. You can do it. Remember, in eight seconds, we're coming down to the ground. Okay, jump here across. Last one. Down to the ground. Feet together, knees wide. Let's go. Lifting up. You've got this. Squeezing up. All the way up for 15 seconds. Get that mind to muscle connection. 
So be aware of where you should feel it. Yeah. Two more. All right. Round one, lower body workout complete. We're now moving on to our core session. Core session, core nine minutes. Let's not be too technical. So I'm going to get rid of this. It's a bit hot. I started with about four layers, so check that away. Now, for the first exercise, we will need a dumbbell or some form of weight. So, one dumbbell, how it's going to look is you're going to chop and step. Chop and step. So, as we chop across the body and we bring our knee up, this area, our lovely core, or six pack if you're fortunate enough, will contract. Now, you do need to get that muscle to mind connection again. So, getting set up, grab that weight. We've got 10 seconds. And we're going to start the core track. So, you can't see because of the camera, but anyway, take your hands out to the side, bring it across, and find your balance. <laughs> there we go. So, in this one, not super fast, but we want to actively be in control of the movement and the rotation across the body. That's it. Beautiful. So, don't just do the movement because you can. Be aware what you want to activate. You can talk to your body. Get that mind to muscle connection that I talk about. One more. Excellent. All right. Out to the other side. Excellent. It's the same exercise. We're now on the other side of the body. So you might find your core activates a little bit quicker on this side because it already has had to work on the other. So I. You've got this. I reckon you've got room for three more. Three, two, last one. All right. Coming down into a plank position, we're going to lift up, in, up, down. Swap sides. Up, in, up, down. Up, in, up, down. Beautiful. Now, if you need... Don't stop because I've stopped. If you need, grab a chair or the couch and elevate yourself up a bit. It can make this exercise easier. Or you can also do it holding onto a bench. So that's another option as well. All right. Grab your two hand weights this time. Laying on your back. You're going to start with them at your chest and you're going to power up. So laying back down. All the way up, reach up nice and high. Slow. Power up. That's the way. Slow it down. Power up. Keep that going. One more. Excellent. Alrighty. Turning over. We're going to head into a high plank. We're going to go plank, scorpion tail. Plank, lift your tail. So we're going to alternate our tail from the right to the left. That's it. Beautiful. Keep that going. Alternate the tail. Two more. And then we're going to stay in a high plank if you can. Use the couch if you need to be elevated. From here, we're going to sit back, hover the knees over the ground, push forward. Sit back, push forward. That's it. Sit back, push forward. So remember, if you have your hands elevated up a bit higher on a chair, make sure it can't slip or a couch or a bench, you can do the same exercise, but it becomes a lot easier and it's also gentler on the wrist. All right, heading back to the start. Do you remember where we started? Back here. So coming across the body, that's it. Nice tight rotation. So now you know the exercise. You can safely ask for a bit more rotation if you feel comfortable. Beautiful. You've got this team. 10 seconds. Perfect. Two more. One, two. Take the weight, other side of the body. Let's go. Beautiful. So twist, bring that knee in. Really close up through the core. So you want to get that contraction through the core as you come across. Reach, close up through the core. Tighten all those muscles. That's the way. Whew. OK, 
Keep it going. For three, two, one. Alrighty, we're gonna come down into that high plank position. Get rid of that weight. So remember, up, in, up, down. Up, in, up, down. That's the way. Up, in, up, down. Beautiful. Ten more seconds, team. Use that couch or the chair if you need to. Don't be a hero for the sake of your wrist. All right, turn over. So we're laying down and we're powering up. Slowly down, power up. Now, if you still haven't mastered the full sit up, that is fine. It takes time. You can lean back, sit up, and press up. Lean back, sit up, and press up. That's it. 10 seconds left. You've got this. Power all the way up. I think you've got room for one more. Let's go one more. Alrighty, ditching that weight. Turning over, we're coming into that high plank again. We're going to pick up our tail, lifting up. Lift that tail. Back to the plank, lifting up. Grab that tail. That's the way. Lift that tail up. 10 seconds left here. Coming forward. Lift me up. Beautiful. Now you got room for one more. All right, take your feet a little bit wider than normal. Sitting back, hover those knees above the ground. Power forward. Now as we push forward, we catch ourselves with our glutes. So as you come forward, squeeze your bum, squeeze your thighs. So you're squeezing here and here to catch yourself. Sit back, catch yourself. Keep going. Room for three more. Two more. Last one. All right, let's grab that weight. This is our last three minutes for the core track. So go across the body, rotate. Can we speed it up a little bit? That's it. You feel safe to do so? Speed it up. Good work. Still get that nice tight contraction as you're coming across the body. Five, four, three, two, last one. Quick shake out, reset, other side. Come across, that nice tight connection. Bring the knee up and across. Now if the weights are really starting to hurt, ditch the weight, keep the exercise. Good work. Oh yeah. You've got this. Two more, team. One and two. Coming down, we're going to go into that high plank with essentially a bit of a slow mountain climb, I guess you could say. But we're going to lift, in, out, down. Lift, in, out, down. Now, if you want, it can be done with your knees on the ground. It will simply look like this, okay? Lift, in, out, down down. Lift, in, out, down. I should have showed you that in round one, but I'm only human. Flip me over. Let's go. All the way up. Power up. Coming down. Yeah. But the beauty of it being a video is you get to repeat it. So you could do it today, tomorrow, Maybe have a break because you'll be sick of my voice. Then the next day. And watch how well you progress. One more. Beautiful. Turn the over. We're going back into that high plank with the scorpion tail. So starting here, scorpion tail up. And then come back to the plank. Pike it up. Other side. Back to the plank. Pike up. Back to the plank. Ten seconds, team. You're doing fantastic. Stay with it. Pushing up. Last one. All right. Feet wide. Stay in that plank if you can. Sit back. Tower forward. I often find the sit back is almost a bit of a rest, a bit of a stretch. But the knees aren't touching the ground, okay? Keep those knees off the ground. 
Keep going. Three more. Last two. Last one. Whoa. All right. How's that? Round three. Believe it or not, we still have arms to go. I don't know about you, but my arms feel like I've already had a workout. So grab a quick drink. Find those two hand weights. Now you don't need them for the first exercise, but you'll need them for every exercise after that. Okay, so we're back. We've had a drink. My heart rate's nah, for most of us will still be up a little bit. Unless you're super fit. Get back down already. Congratulations to you. Okay. As my heart rate comes back down, I'll explain the next exercise. We're going to go into a walkout. So we've done the walkouts in the previous week. So if you're progressing, you're well and truly ready for this. You're going to reach up. Come with me. Come down. We know what the walkout is. We add that push up this time. You come back to standing. Reset. Back down. Walking out. Push up. Now, if you find you keep going, I'm just going to speak. If you find it too hard on the wrist, take out the walkout phase and go with just the push up, okay? So I don't want you to sit there and go, this is too hard. Take out the walkout, go with just the push up. Alrighty, two more team. One more. I rushed you on that, didn't I? Sorry. All right. Grab your two dumbbells. We're going to go into a jab and a cross. We have done these, I reckon, every week. Because why not? We need to get out of a bit of frustration, don't we? Beautiful. Really push out in front. We go to about three quarters of the length of our arm. I don't want you to lock out. I want you to protect your body. You be in control of when that weight stops. For three, two, one. Now I'm going to come down to my knees just so you can see me. Everyone else stay on standing. And you're going to come into a shoulder press. That's the way. But you know what? If you want to be down on your knees, go for it. If you've got lush carpet underneath you, if you're on concrete, I'd suggest stay standing for this one. There you go, team. Now, find my shoulders. The weights feel nice and light initially, and then you go, oh my gosh, when do these weights get so heavy? Three, two, last one. Now, I'm gonna stand back up. We're going to go into a squat and a press. Squat, so imagine you're coming underneath the bar. We're scooting across. Out to the other side. Sit. Ducking under. The work. The lower you go, the more of a total body workout you're going to get. I know we're focusing on arms. We still are. Don't stress. Last one. All right. We're going to bend forward. Knees softly bent. Hips out behind. We're going to go into a kick back. So I want you to start at your shoulders. Kick back. Imagine, I don't know, you're a... Aerial jumper, aerial ski jumper, and you know how they power back, get nice and aerodynamic. Let's go. Whew. Now, this is when you have to get that muscle to mind connection. You can just swing around, you just have a party, you won't feel anything. You've got to will the body. Two more. One more. Yes. All right, stay in that same position, one arm up. We're going to go into a pulley row. So, you don't want to rotate the upper body. The upper body stays nice and still. It's just the arms that move. And they move fast. One for the other. Now you need to brace your core in this exercise, otherwise you're going to start to feel it in your back. Okay, we're going nice and fast. Three, two, one. All right, we've got six minutes left. Into the walkout with the push-up. So remember, we're reaching out nice and tall, walking out. Coming into the push-up. Now, the push-up on your toes is not your thing. Drop to your knees, push up, back up into the plank, and then standing. That's it. At least try one on your toes. You never know. You might surprise yourself. Last one. All righty, get ready. Grab those weights. And we're going to go into that jab cross. So again, we're bracing through the core, protecting our back, pushing those arms out in front, about three quarters. Be in control of that stop. Good work, let's speed it up. 10 seconds. 
And we're going to go into the shoulder press in three, two, one. Remember, I'm kneeling down so you can see me, but by all means, stay standing. Excellent. Now, if you start to feel your lower back in the shoulder press, I'll stand back up for a second. Split your steps. That helps to take out any pressure in the lower back. Or also, if you don't have the pressure, but you're doing these ones, then you also need to split your stance. Two more. I'm not going to kneel back down for two more. All right, let's go. Team, we're going under and across. Under and across. So how low you duck will determine how hard you're going to work. So the lower you go, more calories burnt, and push it across. Keep it going. Speed it up. Ten seconds left here. Home stretch. We're nearly there. Oh, my duck's getting a bit high. Self-check. Get down low. Last one. Excellent. We're going to bend over. Hips behind. Weights up to your shoulders. Squeeze back. Squeeze that tricep muscle. That area of our arm we all like to complain about. Squeeze it back. Yeah. Ten seconds. Beautiful. Three, two, last one. Alrighty. So one arm up, one down, sticking in that same position, nice and fast. So from side on, this is how it's going to look. You've got a nice tight core and you're moving the arms, one up, one down, as fast as you can go. Let's keep it going. Ten seconds. We're nearly there, and then we've got one more three-minute round to go, and we are finished. Speed it up. Three, two, one. Walk out to the push-up, or by all means, stick with just the push-ups. Your workout, your choice. Let's try a push-up on your toes. Go for it. There we go. So they always hurt. Don't think they're not going to hurt. Beautiful. You've only got 10 seconds. Alrighty, grab those weights. The beauty of the walkout is you don't have to do many. Brace that core. Two and a half minutes, team. Nice and fast. What are you imagining? Hopefully not your partner or someone in your family. Maybe just a boxing bag. Keep it going. Ten seconds. How fast can you go? Get a little bit of movement through those legs. Five, four, three, two, one. Into the shoulder press. Stay standing. That's the way. Slow it down. Now if you're rocking your body or you're feeling your lower back, your option, no, not your option, you need to split your stance. Let's not make that an option. Let's make that a priority. Pressing up. You've got it. Three, two, one. Stay standing. We're going to go across the body. So duck down low. Swing across. That's it. Come up onto the toe of your outside leg. Any extra movement in most cases is fantastic movement. Keep it going, team. Ten seconds. We're powering towards the finish line. We are so close. For three, two, one, bent over, weights up. Now I'm going to stand side on again so you get that visual. Weights here, squeeze. So at the top, we squeeze. You're almost trying to bring your weights together and as high as they can. That's the way. You'll know by now whether your weights are too heavy or too light. Some exercises, they might feel too heavy and some exercises, maybe too light. Best thing, you can come back anytime, repeat this exercise, the whole video actually, at your leisure. Three, two, one. Last little bit, let's go. Fully row. Remember, the upper body is not twisting. We're going with just the arms. So we're bracing through that core. One arm up, one down. Nice and fast. Make sure you're tightening through your core to protect your lower back. 
it is there as a safety mechanism in three two done fantastic leave a comment below i'd love to hear your feedback and i look forward to seeing you next week see you then